hello and a very warm welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I want to talk about what I think are the best 10 places to buy real estate in France for the year 2023. Now unfortunately France is not a real estate opportunity because prices are very high in the major cities but moreover taxation is very high especially if you come from a non-EU EEA country and of course France is very pro-tenant as well. Now I haven't obviously picked Paris in the list because we all know Paris prices are very very high but they're very high in other major cities as well so in places like Bordeaux and Lyon prices on average are more than 5,000 euros per square meter and in Marseille in the south they're actually over 4,000 euros per square meter on average but I think I found 10 places where property prices are a lot more reasonable and in all these places prices on average are less than 3,000 euros per square meter. Now please let me know if you agree or disagree with my choices and what you would have put in instead. Anyway here are my 10 choices and coming in at number 10 is Sommier. Now with a population of just under 5,000 Sommier is located between Montpellier and Nîmes. It is a historic town originally founded by the Romans. There are many quaint narrow streets around the centre and medieval arcaded houses which actually date back from the 15th to the 18th centuries. There are also some lovely churches and the remains of a medieval castle. The town has a lovely river which runs through it and the bridge across the river actually dates back to the first century. The town also has a great Saturday market and the surrounding countryside has some beautiful towns and villages which are really well worth exploring. Now as Sommier is only around 25 kilometers from Montpellier you have easy access to Montpellier airport and the new TGV train station built on the edge of Montpellier. Now real estate prices here on average are around two and a half thousand euros per square meter. Now I'm not saying that's particularly cheap but bearing in mind this town um, I know it's a small town but it's very very popular I think prices are fairly reasonable. Now coming in at number nine is Colmar with a population of around 68,000 and in the region of Alsace Colmar is a very picturesque city. Property prices are not particularly cheap at an average of around 2,900 euros per square meter. But this city known as Little Venice has some lovely small canals and beautifully colored houses. You will find a mixture here of French and German architecture. There are a number of beautiful churches in the cities, fountains, monuments and a number of noteworthy museums. Facilities wise, there's an important library, an international summer festival of classical music and a number of companies also have a base here. Now the railway station has connections to Strasbourg and Zurich, so pretty convenient if you want to get to Switzerland. And as I said, prices are not really cheap, but we have to bear in mind this is a really affluent city and is extremely popular with tourists, so I don't think prices are that high. Now coming in at number eight is Bergerac. Now any number of towns from the Dordogne area could have been candidates to make the top 10, but I chose Bergerac mainly for the low prices at an average of around 1,800 euros per square meter and the fact that Bergerac has its own airports with flights to a number of cities in England plus Porto, Rotterdam and Brussels. Bergerac also has its own railway station with regular train services to Bordeaux and if you like wine, art and history then Bergerac could be the place for you. The old town, the medieval heart of Bergerac has cafes, restaurants and many shops in narrow cobbled streets. There are museums, churches and there's even a statue of Cyrano de Bergerac. And the Bergerac region is noted for its wines and there are many wine tours available here as well. Now, coming in at number seven, and this may surprise a lot of you, 
is the city of Saint-Étienne. Now, with a population of just over 170,000, and in the eastern central part of France, around 60 kilometers from Lyon, Saint-Étienne is often only thought of as an industrial city. But I think this is unfair. This city has a lot to offer, including a number of noteworthy museums, a magnificent cathedral, lovely churches, great parks, and a unique, very unique architectural heritage which has earned the city a place on the list of UNESCO creative cities. The city also has a university and a football team that has won the French top title 10 times. Food here is very cheap too. And transport wise, the city has a railway station which has high speed services to Paris and Lyon. The city also has its own tramway and trolley bus system. Property prices, though, are incredibly cheap at an average of only one and a half thousand euros per square meter. Now, just think about this. In Lyon, only about 60 kilometers away, they are over five thousand euros per square meter on average. So three and a half times, three to three and a half times as much. Now, coming in at number six is Limoges. With a population of around 128,000 and situated in west central France, Limoges is mainly known for producing porcelain, but there's much more to this city. It is a city steeped in history and there are a number of lovely churches here, a beautiful cathedral, botanical gardens, a castle and a notable art museum. The city also has a university. It also has a top basketball team, handball team, and a rugby union team as well. Limoges has its own airport with flights to a number of UK cities, plus Marrakesh in Morocco. It also has its own railway station with direct connections to Paris and Toulouse. And property is inexpensive here at an average of around 1,900 euros per square meter. Now, coming in, at number five is Perpignan, with a population of around 120,000, and in the southeast of France, Perpignan is yet another lovely French city steeped in history. It has a nice Mediterranean climate and is the last major city before the border with Spain. It has many attractions, including a medieval cathedral, a major palace, a tower, a fort, some nice churches, and many other noteworthy buildings. Perpignan was actually the capital of the Kingdom of Mallorca during the 13th century, so you can see the Spanish influence. And Perpignan does have its own airport with flights to Brussels, Marrakesh, Dublin, London, Birmingham and Leeds. It also has its own railway station with connections to Paris, Barcelona and Toulouse. And property prices I think are very, very reasonable at an average of around 2,000 euros per square meter. Now, coming in at number four is the city of Mulhouse. Now, with a population of around 108,000 and located in eastern France near the Swiss and German borders, Mulhouse is very unique in that it shares an airport with Basel in Switzerland and Freiburg in Germany. In actual fact, the airport is only around 20 to 25 kilometers from Mulhouse and has flights to numerous European destinations, plus Montreal, Hurghada in Egypt, Tel Aviv, and a number of cities in Morocco as well. Mulhouse is a lovely city known for its museums and its beautiful 16th century town hall. It is also well connected by rail has a university and best of all property prices are only 1800 euros per square meter on average very very cheap when you consider in basel not that far away they are nearer eight to ten thousand euros per square meter on average so i think that puts clearly mulhouz up there now coming in at number three and i think this will not surprise you is the city of carcassonne now, with a population of around 46,000 in the south of France, 80 kilometers from Toulouse, the beautiful city of Carcassonne is best known for its citadel dating back to the Renaissance era. It is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Carcassonne also has lovely 
has a lovely cathedral, nice churches, museums, including a fine arts gallery, and many lovely places in which to eat and drink, especially wine. Now, the surrounding area is also very picturesque. Carcassonne has its own airport with direct flights to Porto, Cagliari, Brussels, Cork, Dublin, and a number of UK cities, including London. It has its own railway station with direct connections to Toulouse, Marseille, and Paris. And best of all, property prices on average are very, very cheap at only a, around one and a half thousand euros per square meter. And I think for somewhere like Carcassonne, that is really, really incredible value for money. Now, coming in at number two, as you can see, is the city of Pau. With a population of 75,000, Pau is a city located only 50 kilometers from Spain in the Nouvelle Aquitaine region of France. It is known as the green city and garden city as it has so much green. Its position gives it an amazing panorama across the mountain range of the Pyrenees, especially from the Boulevard of the Pyrenees. Po has many attractions, including many museums, theatres, festival, festivals, cultural centres, lovely churches, parks, gardens, town squares, gastronomy. There's a golf course here and a beautiful castle. And the city has some top sports teams, including basketball, rugby union, canoe, kayak and fencing. Many expats live here, and with gr good reason, Pau has excellent facilities, including hospitals and private clinics. Now, a university is here as well, and there's numerous college and research centres too, and there's actually a free funicular system in the city. Transport-wise, the city has, good bus, has a good bus network, a railway station with connections to Bordeaux, Toulouse and Paris, and even its own airport with direct flights to Paris and Lyon. Now, with so much to offer, I think property prices are amazing value at two and a half thousand euros per square meter. And the weather here is also exceptionally good too. So I think it deserves to be in position number two. But as you can see, position number one is Bézières. Now, with a population of around 78,000 in the south of France, Bézières is one of the oldest cities in France. It is actually a beautiful city, very rich in history and a lovely Mediterranean climate. It has a very impressive cathedral, an excellent arts museum, and the Canal du Midi actually runs through here. Béziers actually also has its own airport, with flights to Brussels, Dusseldorf, Stockholm, Shannon in Ireland, London, Bristol and Edinburgh. Now, it also has a railway station with connections to major cities in France, including Marseille, Paris, Toulouse and Bordeaux, plus Barcelona in Spain as well. Now, I think real estate prices here are cheap. They are at an average of around 2,000 euros per square meter. But I want you to consider this, um, 2,000 euros per square meter in France, only about 10 kilometers from the seaside. I actually think that's exceptional value for money. And that's why I've actually put um, Bézier in the number one position here. But in all honesty, um, a lot of other places could have made it. There are places in particular in the Dordogne which are cheap which I think almost deserve to make the top 10 as well but I've opted for these 10. Now more importantly I would absolutely love to know your thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Which places would you have put in the top 10? I would love to know your thoughts and I think it also would help other viewers as well if they're in if they're looking for property in France. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks ever so much for watching and I shall see you soon on the next video.